Uh, Rowan, we're down here at uh, Brigham CYP, uh, which okay. is your home amateur gym and now your home pro gym. Because yeah. uh, I think it was last year, was it? Yeah, yeah. Last year you put pen to paper with uh, my boss and now your manager, uh, Mr. Steve Woods. <laughs> and uh, I've come down here because I was going to try and catch up with you. I think it was, it was last year because yeah, yeah. you was going to make your debut, everything was all sorted. but. Yeah. There's a few issues with your medical. That's it, mate. Yeah, I feel, yeah. And uh, now, now that is all sorted. And it all is happening. Sorted, yeah. It is happening a week yeah. on Saturday. Yeah, that's it, mate. It's a bit of a long time coming, yeah, for sure. Uh, well, do you know something? Um, <coughs> we're going to a venue. They're noisy downstairs, aren't they? Um, we're going to a little venue called Light Waves, which is... Uh, about uh, about an hour, hour and twenty minutes away. Half, it's about seventy-five miles. Yeah. So a little way trip for your fans. Yeah, yeah. That's but it. it should be a good night because I was yeah, saying yeah. to you before, uh, not only are you making your debut, but there's another kid called uh, uh, Owen Edwards yeah, yeah, making his debut. Yeah. Uh, we've got a, a kid making his VIP debut who's a, a former Olympian, uh, yeah, 2016, yeah. Muhammad Ali, yeah, very yeah. talented kid. Uh, and we've got. Uh, I, th I think we've got some of the best amateur, um, not amateur, um, professional fighters that we've got who just at that stage where I think people are going to start knowing about them. They, you yeah, know, yeah. the five, six and all, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jake Goodwin who's topping the bill down there. Um, we've got uh, a couple of his teammates, Connor Lawrence, mm -hmm. uh, very good kid. Yeah, so yeah. your fans are not only going to get to see you, no, but they're no, going to no, see no, some no, absolute yeah. quality. Uh, and. And most of the fighters, I believe, are going to go a long way. Yeah. So. I, I'm guessing you mean me included in that. <laughs> yeah, I'll be that out. I don't know, but I have seen a little bit today. Yeah, yeah. I was, I, I hadn't seen. We did the interview. This is the second time we're doing it. But my microphone's broke again. So um, hopefully this is going to work out. Uh, we'll only wait and see when I get home. Um, but uh, I got to see you on the pads and doing a little bit of bag work. Uh, you seem nice, sharp, fast. A good variety of shots. Yeah, no, thank you, yeah. um, what, 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 what was your amateur? I mean, like I say, we mentioned this is your old yeah. amateur gym. Mm -hmm. So you started when? How old? Um, so I, I did bits and bobs when I was like seven in Hull, um, and then but anyway, so I came away from it. And then fourteen is when I like I started and I never stopped. Yep. So what, that's about 12 years now, yeah. And and how many fights did that entail then, is it? Uh, 36. 36, and how did you do? Yeah, yeah, we won 20, 22-ish, yep. around there, yeah. So, so uh, like you say, that's about uh, two-thirds. Yeah, um, yeah. A 50-50 record, for me, is a good amateur mm -hmm. record. Uh, yeah, let's yeah. put it this way, Teddy Flanagan, who became yeah. a world champion, his amateur record was 60 fights, 130. Yeah. So, yeah. you know... Um, uh, if I had a career like him, I wouldn't be complaining. Well, that's what I'm saying, but no one, no one really knows. All you no, get no. is a slight insight into where perhaps you could go. Yeah, now, sure. you're living in an era where you can train with professionals, and I presume you've been doing a lot of sparring because this, yeah, yeah, this yeah. debut has been <laughs> yeah. taking a while. Yeah. So who have you been moving around with in preparations for this? Uh, I've been moving around with a few people, mate. I've been going over, I spar at Conor Lawrence a few times. Oh yes, yeah. like I say, good kid. Yeah, uh, James Richardson, uh, up in Scum Fort. He had nearly 100 amateur fights. Uh, Jimmy Tyres up in Billingham. I was uh, just talking about Jimmy Tyres. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, he's, he's got a little. Because isn't Jimmy turning over now? But his younger brother, Joe Tyres, uh, very yeah. good amateur, England international. Yeah, I think, I think he's Jimmy Tyres is bad. I knew it was the Tyres, and he was a very tough kid. Yeah. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure which one it was, but they're all good, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, all yeah. talented kids, aren't they? So. Um, but yeah, I think it was Jimmy anyway. But yeah, no, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I've been listening. And in fact, there. haven't you? You mentioned to me before. Uh, this is hence what's good about doing this interview twice. Yeah. Um, you have actually been moving around with the, the other kid who's making his debut on the same night as you. Yeah, uh, Owen uh, Edwards. Owen Edwards last week. Yeah. Who? We're former rivals. Yeah. I was going to say who you fought as, as, as an amateur. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah uh, we 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 spoke about. Um, uh, that you had 36 fights, you won about 22 of them. Um, but I believe uh, you you were the Yorkshire regional champion at yeah, middleweight. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was a senior Yorkshire elite champion, yeah. Um, yeah, beat a good kid for it and I uh, defended it against Owen Edwards down here in this gym. Um, yeah, and then I was going to go like Haringey and stuff, I pulled the muscle, got injured, and then now obviously, you know, I'm moving on to the pros. So. Are you excited for this, then? Yeah, I mean, this whole reason I started boxing, like 12 years ago, as soon as I walked in the amateur gym, 
it was to go pro. Like this has been the plan all along. So, uh, so have you always been a boxing fan then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my granddad was British and Commonwealth champion uh, in the army. All right. Yeah, then my, my dad's done some, so it's like in the blood, like he's in the family. Do you know what I mean? So, so you've no option then. You're yeah, always going to yeah, be a boxer. Yeah, then. yeah. And I'm buzzing it. He's like a dream come true. Do you know what I mean? It's so, a bit like the kid I was telling you before. who's fighting on the same like Muhammad Ali. Yeah. You know when you get called that name. Yeah. You sink or swim, isn't it? He kind of had one job in mind, didn't he? <laughs> do you know what I mean? I think his dad always had that plan for him. Yeah. Probably, um, yeah. But, but yeah, it's, it, I, I, this is, I, I, I say it most interviews, uh, but I do, I look forward to it. I love seeing the journeys and I love seeing the beginning of a journey because yeah, yeah. the beginning of the journey is, is the most exciting part because yeah. hopefully this is where you get me excited to, to see where you're going to progress. Yeah, and like, it's good because like, you've never seen me box. No. Like, Steve Woods has never seen me box. So like, it's quite an exciting one, I feel like there will be some eyes on it. You know what but, I mean? Well then, how did you meet Steve? Because you're up here... It is the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful it middle of nowhere, yeah, yeah. but it is the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So how did you come across Steve? We're based in Manchester, and I know we put shows up in Hull and, and yeah. a few other places around here, but yeah. how did it happen? Well, that's basically it. I, I was doing some sparring with the Central Area Champion of Aldez in Hull. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his coach, like, he mentioned Steve Woods, would be like a good contact, and he seems like a good guy. And I've been to the whole shows and the quality and whole, whole hopefully I'm going to adopt as like my backyard now. Do you know what I mean? Because ah, yeah. that's like the nearest place. And everyone I speak to, everyone says Steve Woods is like reliable, trustworthy, real good guy. So I just, yeah. So it was a no brainer. Number. Yeah, I just got his number to to him and yeah, he's, he's been sound to me. So yeah, yeah, yeah he seems like a real good guy. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Well, he is, he's a good guy. I mean, him, he's like. also one of the busiest promoters in the country because yeah. uh, I think. By the end of this year, we would have put on over 20, over 20 uh, small hall yeah, shows. Yeah. All um, over as well, so it's, it's good like, to get your name out there. Like. No, it's bloody hard for me though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I don't, I, I, like yeah. I say, I really enjoyed the trip down here today. I, I felt we had to do this because this is welcoming you to the VIP yeah, team. No, yeah, and it, um, yeah. hopefully um, uh, you can excite them because uh, mm -hmm. from the little bits I've seen today, uh, you look nice and sharp. Yeah, good, yeah. And, 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 and a little sure. bit of... Is everything. I mean, you, 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 you've got a lovely jab on you, but there's a little bit of switching there as well, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, am I giving away a bit of weight to your opponent? No, no, I'm to listen. I don't worry about him, he can worry about me, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, yeah, I switch it up, mate, yeah, I switch it up. Fight long range, short range, I just, however I need to win on the night out. That's what I do. So, so you, you, you feel you can? Because I wasn't a very clever fighter. To me, I I, um, I I had one plan, and if that wasn't working, I was a bit knackered. Yeah, yeah. Um, I couldn't really think on my feet. But uh, obviously, you, uh, you find a switch to tends to think. Oh, but there can be the issue of sometimes overthinking. Mm -hmm. I I do do. Are you, are you a bit of an overthinker, or do you just do you just like action? Yeah, I. I feel like I've got quite a good boxing brain, but yeah, don't overthink it because it's a split second thing, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll switch. I might throw two, three shots, I'll switch again. So mm. like I don't I don't overthink it, I just do what works. It's just and natural. I, like, yeah, I feel like I, I can see it working at the time, I'll do it. So I would have loved to see the the uh, spa between you and Connor Lawrence because Connor's a switch hitter as well. Yeah, he's and he, a tough he, kid, yeah, he's a tough kid. Yeah. He's, he's he's big, he's heavy. Um yeah, he's, he's yeah, yeah, he's, he's good because, like you say, it's yeah, intriguing good. that. Um, but um, this all starts on July the twenty second. Um, uh, like I say, we're at Light Waves in Wakefield, where we was only there a few weeks ago. But uh, generally, it is a very, very good show because, mm -hmm. as I mentioned before, a lot of quality on there, and kids that yeah, I yeah. think are going to go quite a long way. And yeah, I'm yeah. excited to see where you can go. Um, and I presume you're in exactly the same mode because it's been a long wait for you. Yeah, 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 it's, it's been a long time coming, so I'm, I'm ready, mate. Yeah, I'm buzzing. Yeah, and you're 26? Yeah, 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 yeah. 26 years young. <laughs> so, uh, exactly, it's, it's still a yeah. baby, really. Uh, to be honest, like, they, I waited to go pro up until now because I've only just sort of started growing to my weight, getting my man strength the last year or so. Mm -hmm. like, I, I feel like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm banging hard now. Perfect timing? Like, yeah, yeah, perfect timing, that's it. Man. Yeah, I, I'm at a good weight, I feel good for my weight, so. And you're going to be at 75 kilos? Yeah, yeah. Like middleweight, anyway. Yeah. You feel super middle, but obviously for titles, yes, you, know, course. you can get a bit more notice than that. Day before weigh-ins, yeah. totally yeah. different. It's a, it's a different yeah. ball game. Um, but you probably won't get them for, for the next 18 months. Yeah, which I, I've got to do my apprenticeship in the, in the pro ranks, and I, which everyone has, so. And, and your expectations, where would you, if, if let's say I'm chatting to you again in 
Let's say five years time. Yeah. What do you think you'd like to achieve by then? Five years time, yeah, I want you to be driving up my massive driving me big mansion and hopefully I've made it big. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, um, in, in five years time, I'm hopefully British title, European heading for world honours. That's so I see, you, want, you believe you can go all the way? Like, I'm not in boxing to make the numbers up, like I'm not here to take part, I'm here to take over, do you know what I mean? That's the plan. I like that. So I'm yeah, sure. like world titles and just head for the stars and w wherever I land, I'll know that I'm the best I can be, so I'm happy with that. Like Do you know, I, I, I like that, I like that, because if you don't think big, no, you, you, it's, it's not worth being in this game, is it? No, so, uh, I speak to those people and they're like, oh, you know, I like Central Area, I think, yeah, but that's all you're targeting and that's what you'll get. Well, that was so me. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, like, if you manifest high... Do you know what I mean then? Yeah, yeah, exactly, mate. Uh, but, but sometimes, you know, it's weird. This is a strange sport. I remember Josh Warrington, who's about to be yeah. hopefully in, in uh, October a three a three way yeah. world yeah, a three time world champion. Yeah. Um, his expectations was he's going to be British champion. Yeah. So you know, you it's go. a funny old sport, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And mate, if I have a career like him, I'd be laughing at that. So. Yeah, I would be as well. Yeah. Listen. Good luck. Uh, I presume all the hard work's been done now, so it's just spars of. Uh, have you, have you got any spars lined up? Anything left? No, no. I, I'm last spar yesterday. Who was that against? Con Lawrence. All right. Indeed, yeah. Ah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. A good tough six rounder there. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's it now. Yeah, I've had two tough spars this week. Two last week. Yeah, I'm ready now. Yeah, that's it. Just taper down. Yeah, just, just start. And obviously the spars went well because I'm looking at you and you're blemish free, yeah, mate. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm still moving in there. I've had 12 years. I wish someone would have told me that. <laughs> yeah, um, I've been pushing those a lot over the years, so I'm starting Ron, to learn. Ronan, listen, like I say, uh, on, on, on 22nd, am I going to be chatting to you and I'm going to be saying 2-0, 1-0? Uh, yeah, 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 that's the plan, mate. That's 100% the plan. Yeah. Well, do you know, that's what I meant to say. We're not even spoken about your opponent. We've no. got an opponent. Uh, this Coxon. is weird. Uh, but Sean Coxon, a Morgan-based kid, a kid who I think is uh, own one. Yeah, um, so he's only had the one fight, he's had the loss. Mm -hmm. and we were talking off camera and I was saying, does that get your... Get you excited a little bit because genuinely on a, on your first debut we we tend to look to get you that experienced journeyman yeah, yeah. the guy that we know what's going to bring to the table yeah. we actually don't know what this kid's bringing to the yeah. table we don't know he's good bad indifferent we, we've no idea yeah, yeah. and so you know if you look at a guy with uh, a record and there's maybe a hundred losses mm -hmm. and I, I, this sounds terrible when I say he's bad he's not because he, he's very good to get to anyone yeah, to yeah, be a centurion awesome. you've got to be very good at your yeah, job yeah. but he actually knows his job then which yeah. is not to win but to give you mm -hmm. a few good tough questions yeah. and hopefully you find the answers to them yeah. and if you find the answers to those questions then the next fight you're going to be slightly better and better and better yeah. um, with each time you find the answers it's good this guy we don't know what questions he's going to bring no. to the table hey, no he's had the one fight i've watched that about 10 times um, but yeah, no, there's definitely fire in the belly, do you know what I mean? Because, yeah, I, we don't really know. Well, this is like your own amateur days, isn't it? This yeah, is when yeah, you're going into yeah. your amateur days, your last 20, 25 fights exactly. are all 50 yeah. 50 fights, all you know. You don't know anything about them, no. so it's the same here. But that's more exciting, like, I'm looking forward to that. I can see that, like, mate. Like, like, like the one fight he's had, he opens up, like, he's not gun shy. No. So he, he comes to fight, he, he comes to put on the show, so. He's, I'm excited. So, so we don't know, he yeah, could be exactly. a dangerous man. So this is, yeah, yeah. I, I presume, what keeping yeah, you on your toes. Learning, and, which is what I wanted. Yeah. I, I, I did say to Steve, like, you know, like I, I, don't, I don't want, you know, someone's just going to be coming and covering up and, you know, just a fall. But fall do you know something, though? You, that may be so, but eventually you do need those guys. Because there'll oh, always yeah, be a moment where you've got to find out how, yeah. how to open someone up. Yeah, and that's what they're there for. Or someone who's got great feet and he's never, you've got to find a way of pinning them yeah, down. And that's why we have it. all those, you have tall kids, short kids, powerful yeah, yeah. kids, you know, slicksters. You know, there's every different type, you need them. So make sure yeah. that when you get that 50 50 fight, which hopefully will be in, you know, 18 months, two years time, whenever it is. Yeah. Um, you're prepared for it, mate, and you know yeah, yeah. you know how to answer those questions that yeah, yeah. he's going to bring. Yeah, yeah, mate. There's, there's no mugs on the circuit. Do you know what I mean? Like they are all good kids, so yeah, I'm, I'm expecting four hard, tough rounds, and that's what I'm prepared for. 
I'm prepared for fall on water it needs to be. So that's well, listen, I, I'm looking forward to it. July the 22nd at Lightwaves in Wakefield. Hopefully, you bring a nice little team down there. They give you some good support, and yeah, uh, you can song from here, so you, you can have a free beer on the bus. So. <laughs> well, then you can have a few beers with them on your way home. Then. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna drive there. I'm gonna jump on bus on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> listen, good luck for them, and Thank like you, I say, uh, hopefully, I'll be saying one and all. Yeah, nice one, mate. Take call. care, mate. For all boxing. Info, news and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.